Uh, hello everyone. So in this video, let's talk about other building blocks of Next.js. So we talked till providers. Now we can create a modules. So in our example, we have already created two modules. One is a user module and one is app module. So app module is a root module and we are injecting a root user module in the app module. So in the application, we will be creating a lot of modules like logger modules, the swagger module, database module, mongoose module, redis module. All those modules we have to finally inject or we have to finally declare in the imports of the root module so that our root module would be aware about the other shared modules. So we can create a core module, shared modules, same as the angular front end application. Okay, so the logic is simple. We create a every module should have a provider, controller, import and exports. If you wanted to export some set of providers so that they can be imported and consumed by other modules, then you can put them in the exports. So like this is a featured module where we have a cat controller and cat services. This is a cat module. Finally, this cat module will be imported in the user uh, app module. You can see the cat module is imported. Okay, so another next thing is the middleware. So middleware is a function which is called before the route handler. If you remember that that in the express application also we used to create a middleware and middleware was somewhat like uh, we used to create app const app equal to express. We already got the express instance. Now we were writing something like this. So in the function we were accepting request response and next function. And here we were doing some conditional check if OK request has something request dot if request is having some particular attribute then do the next otherwise from here we were sending response dot json OK with this status code like 401 or 403 and json message something like this same kind of concept we have for the middlewares before sending the request to the handlers, we can calculate few things. So in this example, we created a small middleware in the core. So what this middleware is doing, it is a logger middleware and how to register this middleware. So before sending the request to the handler, we, we wanted to process some logic like we wanted to validate the token is there. We wanted to validate the rule is proper for this particular route or we wanted to do some precondition check before the request is passed to the route handler then we can just create this middleware and how we are going to register these middleware in the application we can just write so this is my app module I will be just writing uh, a consumer method okay I will be just writing configure first of all we have to implement nest module okay and here consumer this is middleware we have to import them and I'm using logger middleware. So I was importing it and I applied it to the user routes. Okay, so whenever you try to hit the call request to the user, so here we can see this particular log request is coming. Right, so this is coming from the logger middleware. You can see the request dot 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 right. So this is coming from this particular middleware and we have registered this middleware only for particular routes. If you just put it the asterisk, I think now it is applied for all the routes. So either you hit this route, which is a common route, then also you will see the request is getting printed, right? So now it is applied to all the routes in the application, this particular middleware. So this middleware, this particular logic we have written in the logger middleware will get processed for every route. So here we can do a lot of things. We can access the headers and in the headers we can preconditionally check if the header containing this particular authorization token or not. If not, then you can just send a exception, right? You can throw an exception. I will just try it if we are able to do it. So we can just access headers so if headers dot authorization is we are getting then next otherwise we can throw uh, 
new bad request exception we call it let me just try this uh, if you're able to so I applied it and uh, you can see now we are getting bad request right we are not getting hello world because now we, are, we are don't have an authorization right so you can just print here console.log console.log okay so this is what middleware are called this is how we write it now exception filters so sim simple example of exception filter you have seen here like I'm, I'm hitting a bad request exception but what I'm getting in the response status code and message bad request if I wanted to extract out more information about the exception then I have to add I have to add a status code message and all these things what if I can create exception filter and for all different kind of exception I can get a generic message status code message description URL and uh, what was the user object what was the request object we were passing so this much information if we generalize for all these different kind of exceptions because in uh, NestJS is providing these set of common exceptions to us we can just return these exceptions and NestJS is handling them unauthorized exception not found exception forbidden exception if we just call the unauthorized exception then it will just change this nothing but a space I think we have to import it and now if I try to hit the code route again you can see I'm getting just unauthorized so what we can do is we can just create this exception filter which can be applied to all the routes so I have this exception filter created what it is doing let me just see if you have filter yeah this exception filter this is generic exception filter we have created to extend and to get a more control on exception handling not by just throwing just a simple status code and what is a status message standard HTTP status code and status message what if I wanted to add some more attributes to the response like uh, status code timestamp and path where you have encountered this particular status code then we can just write exception filter and we can register these exception filter to our route okay so i can just register it on the controller i think use filter exception filter we already have in the app controller let me just check yeah we are not using exception filter here so we'll just apply here use filter now if we are making this request now you can see okay it's a restarting i think so what url we are hitting forward slash 3000 unauthorized uh, okay i think this middleware is intercepting all the requests first so we have to pass the request from the middleware first which we will just do using next only because it is not even coming till exception it is being intercepted at the middleware and it, it is returning the same message every time now you can see new message started coming uh, this is for particular user forward slash user if you go to the routes of user controller here on this forward slash user okay where it is yeah so this is my route user so all these all these are user get user post and user put so what i'm doing is i am returning internal server exception so according to the rule we should be getting only status code 500 and internal error occurred right but we are getting this description because we have applied this particular exception filter here you can see use filter and even if you just return a bad request exception what happened bad request exception we should be getting the now you can see we are getting the 200 400 and status code right internal server error exception and now we should be start getting the 500 with the route information and all right so this is how we can use these exception filters
now pipes pipes can do the two different things pipe can actually transform the input and also do the validation of our request object so these are the two main functionality they are performing transformation of the input into the desired state and applying the pipe and validating the request object which we are passing for a particular route so i will just directly come to an example like uh, here we are passing the validation pipe and for all the validations we will be using a class validator okay so we will see in the application routes we will be creating these dtos and we will be writing this validation schema for the dtos but uh, i will just talk about a simple pipe which we can create so simple pipe is something like this like if you are writing the http post which is going to be accepting some info in information like name as and breed right these three attributes so we are, have already defined the types for all the three attributes okay so we can just define a custom validation pipe which will validate the object against that dto so this you will be able to understand more when we actually talk about the apis so here you can see i have a, i will be getting the request data in the request body and i added a validation pipe so validation pipe will validate the data which are which is coming in the body and here is a create cat dto it is nothing but uh, just an a class having all these attributes this create class dtos and it will be just mapping checking okay are you passing name of type string age of type number breed of type string it will just validating it so you can just pass it in your controller but for that you have to be creating one dto also so that we can take later okay so let's see the rest of the things interceptor guard and we will also do this uh, validations in the next video